I am the famous American and I've got a question for you. Why are you obsessed with Vivian Liberto's ethnic background? Now I know that just as easily you can turn the question on me after all, one of my most popular videos here on this channel is called was Vivian Liberto Johnny Cash's first wife black? Well, technically dot dot dot. So that's become one of my most popular videos. And what's interesting about it is, every day I'll receive comments from different people saying ultimately the same thing about it. Who cares about her race? Please leave this lady alone. She was a great woman. Who cares about her ethnic background? And I would agree. Even though I made the video asking the question, the fact that I have such a response from people watching the video implies that apparently it truly is fascinating. Now, if you can, leave me out of this for a moment. Because ultimately, let's face it, as a YouTuber, my goal, my objective, is to create engaging content, to start interesting conversations. That's, that's what happens. If it's not interesting, why would you even watch the video? It has to be an interesting concept. So take me out of it, and I want to ask you, why is it interesting to you? Why do you care either way? Why is it worth your time to watch the video, to leave a comment below, to even click the video to begin with to know that that title was interesting enough to you? So we want to, I'm going to give you my synopsis of why I think that you care. And I could be wrong. I, Please show me how I'm wrong by leaving a comment. But ultimately, why do we care if Vivian Liberto had African ancestry? Why would it matter? The real answer is it doesn't matter, at least not from a perspective of any kind of uh, negative perspective. I think of anything, what we're hoping for, and I say we, I'm saying collectively, we the audience that would care enough to click on the video and watch it, we're hoping that she was of African ancestry because how cool would that be if Johnny Cash, this legend of, of rock and country music, however you want to title his music, was actually married to a woman who was of African descent. Because that makes it interesting because according to the collective understanding of culture in the United States of America, and I'm not saying I agree with this, I'm saying that it happens, please do not conflate. I'm saying something exists, I'm not saying that I approve it or agree with it. But here in the United States of America, if someone has any at all African DNA, then it's assumed that they identify as African American. We can see this with President Obama, who was raised by his white mother, who only met his African father twice in his lifetime, but he identifies as black. Now, just as easily you could identify as mixed. In theory, just as easily you could identify as white. But here in the United States, people get to choose how they identify their race and ethnic background. And I've mentioned this many times before. People love to say, why are you Americans obsessed with, with race and, and, and ethnic background? Keep in mind, we have to fill out forms constantly for our government, for censuses, to get a job, to go to the doctor, to identify our race and ethnic background. So I identify as, as white and Hispanic. That's how I identify. And it is true. The DNA tests back that up. But ultimately it's my choice. If I just wanted to say white European, I could. I could say whatever I want to to identify as that. What's interesting, you just have to have a little bit of something and then you can identify that, especially if you're black. So I think that's interesting. I, don't, I think the fascination with this question about Vivian Lamberto being black is less about, can you believe that? That back in the 50s and 60s and 70s when there was a different type of race tension altogether in the United States, that a legend of country music had a wife that was black or at least was married to someone who was black formally. Can you, can you believe that? No, I think it's in modern day, it's the opposite. People want to celebrate. Here was this woman who was black, but was she? And see, that's where it comes back to how a person identifies their race and ethnicity. It's ultimately a choice. Of course, we would get into Rachel Dolezal, if that's how you say her name, a woman who ethnically was complete European DNA, but identified as black. So then you would get into cultural appropriation. So it's very, it is very fascinating, isn't it? Here's a five minute video to convince you it's an interesting concept. And if it wasn't, 
you wouldn't have watched that video and made it one of my push, most popular videos, nor would you invest five minutes of your life to watch this video and to leave a comment below.